<laughs> Yay. All right. Okay. So thanks for coming along, guys. We're going to do uh, just some tips and tricks for um, sharing the oils with friends and family and loved ones. Uh, we have in my team, I've got a couple of you from other teams, but that's okay. I love sharing the oily love. But in my team this month, I'm just doing a bit of a promo with a couple of my leaders where we're, um, we're just encouraging everyone to get out and share with friends and family and um, take that little plunge. Um, most of the time we find when we have great experiences with the oils that um, we do, it is natural to share with other people because we have, we have great solutions here. So um, we're having a, a bit of a sharing promo and um, we've got some little oils that we're giving away for sharing and, and, and getting enrolments um, in my team. So that was that what sparked this um, webinar today. And yeah, just thought it's a great way to help you guys learn um, some different ways. It's sometimes easier to see. I can hold up little things and show you what they look like rather than um, just typing everything out in the groups or anything. So, yeah, I thought what I'd st we'd start by um, sh all of us here, have, you know, use the oils a little bit. Um, Trudy, you're still fairly new, but that's okay. You've had a couple of experiences already. Um, just I'd like if you can share one of your experiences. We've got one. Is that my voice that I can hear and repeat in someone else's thing? <laughs> Probably. Yep, that's me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Lisa, do you want to share um, just a quick experience that you had with the oils, or maybe when you know when you knew they worked, or when you knew you wanted to share, or you wanted to definitely be a part of the oils? Uh, yeah, I'll probably go with an experience because I've got a um, a very uh, well a good one. So it's actually from my husband. So he um, had like a wart type thing on his hand. So in that sort of area there. And he is pretty bad at remembering to put stuff on. So he, I told him about the oregano. I told him to protect the skin around. No. <laughs> he just put the oregano straight on it. And he did it about three or four times in a two-week period. And it went black straight away that night. Um, one time he actually still had his wedding band on. So he didn't appreciate that because it got really hot really quick. And he had to get his wedding band off really fast. Um, but um, after that two weeks, that wart is completely gone. You cannot even tell there was anything there. Um, so that was the oregano, and it was absolutely brilliant. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So just one drop. Yeah. Uh, so he, he didn't, of course, you know, follow the instructions, which was put it on at night, one drop directly, protect the skin around, and, you know, away you yeah, go. Yeah, he his way. <laughs> he did it his way, that's right, bloke's way. <laughs> um, but still got a fantastic response. Excellent. Um, who else? Kay, do you want to share one of your experiences with the oil? Um, yeah, I, I guess my most profound one was um, I actually had mastitis. So I'm not like uh, encouraging people not to go to a doctor, but <clears throat> I actually went to the doctor. I was having fever. Like I was really, really sick. But I get really super sick from antibiotics, like basically like I've got gastro and it takes me weeks to get rid of all of the symptoms. Um, and so I wasn't, I really, I wanted to have faith in my body's natural ability to heal itself, but I was a bit concerned because you could actually end up in hospital with mastitis. Mm -hmm. Um, but I used frankincense directly above where the lump was. Obviously I was doing everything else as well. I was feeding my baby regularly you know, trying to get rid of anything. Um, and I also use lavender and peppermint at night to sort of calm um, the fever a little bit and calm the headache. And within 24 to 48 hours, my mastitis had gone. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I've lost you. So, there you are. Hi. That's awesome. So that, no, I just that to me is the most, like, profound experience. That's great. Thank you. Uh, Trudy, have you had any awesome experiences to share yet? I've just been using the most of from Jasper. Yeah, and how's it going? It's good because it's not as not as crazy as not as with him. He likes it? He does like it. He likes the smell of it. That's awesome. 
And just even empowering the kids to have, have a tool to use for their emotional health is just amazing anyway, isn't it? Like, um, yeah. Kayleen, do you want to share one of your favourite experiences if you could? Um, sure. Um, mine is my son's and it was peace and it was what stopped him crying at daycare drop-off for three years. That's also awesome. so profound. Eh? Three years he cried and peace and that was it. Winner. So good. I love that story. I never really thought about using peace and t like that until um, I heard your story and I'm like telling everyone if they say separation anxiety, I'm like, yeah, peace, yeah. use peace. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's a winner. So I guess, I guess um, you know, we've all had great experiences with the oils and it seems selfish to keep this to ourselves, okay? They're, they're amazing. They have amazing power. And, um, yeah, if you guys can just mute your microphones now, that would be awesome. So I don't have myself repeating to myself. So that's, I think it might have been Trudy that was doing that, actually. Awesome. I can only hear myself once now. So um, I do like feeling you guys are there, though, but it's okay. <laughs> So how can we share with our friends? Um, I was having this conversation with uh, one of the other girls who's just new to the oils actually was literally just, you know, um, 15 minutes ago asking about, you know, how to, how, how you share without, um, you know, I guess being yourself and not selling because um, that puts a lot of people off actually. Like we're not, we don't want to go, oh, I don't want to sell the oils, So I'm just going to use them for myself. And that's fine. You can just use them for yourself. And sharing is actually not really selling. Like it's literally, it's serving your friends and family with their problems and their issues. And um, when, you know, when we have these profound experiences, it is, um, it's natural to share them. It's like, you know, if you go to a really great hairdresser, then you're going to tell your friends about your hair, the hairdresser you went to. So it's a natural progression from using the oils and having amazing experiences with them to share the experiences with others. So um, really changing that mindset, I think, first off about um, whether we're selling or whether we're, you know, serving really or, sh or sharing. Um, we're not trying to sell. We're just giving people, um, you know, their giving them solutions that we've that we've found and like you know now I now I've been using the oils for a couple of years and like I know that they work so I just like you know you just go I've got something that I know will help you like you just know that it will help someone and um so I guess first of all we have to change our mindset about what sharing is it's um it's literally yeah just sharing your stories sharing um how something has helped you and we do that in everyday life anyway so it shouldn't be any different with the oils um, um and and i guess basically if i was to ask you all um have your lives been positively changed by using the oils and most of you would say yes um so if we're actually not sharing those positive experiences with those around us and sharing the solutions that we um you know that we have had with them then we're actually um, being a disservice to our friends and family and taking away an opportunity for them to take that empowerment for their own health. So um, we don't want to actually take away those opportunities and, and take away that for other people. So it is a natural progression. Um, so when we get over that selling thing, that's good. I mean, it takes a while sometimes, but um, especially if you're, just, if you're not doing the business, then it really isn't selling because you literally are just sharing. So it's a bit easier then. But how do we do it? Okay, so um, sharing is, first of all, you can just have a look around social media. Like um, everyone talks about their problems on social media and everyone shares uh, when, you know, they're having an issue with a child not sleeping or um, they're having, I don't know, headaches or you know, all sorts of things, back pain, that those sorts of things are really commonly, you know, people will just share that that's what's happening in their life. And, um, you know, what I have tried to do in that time, like if someone does that, then I usually would just send them a PM and uh, or a private message or something and, and you know, say, hey, um, most people that I know actually know I use oils now. So <laughs> that they know I don't have to introduce and say, oh, I've been using this. But if you're, if you're new to the oils and you're not, you know, not doing a business, 
you just can uh, just you know say hey I've I've got um, I've been using essential oils and I found them actually really helpful for this thing like you know you might share a story that if especially if it's something like sleep that you've had with your own child you say look I've been using a little bit of lavender for sleep and um, we found it really effective you know would it would you like me to send you some to try? And that's it. Like would, you're not having, you're not asking them to pay for anything. You're not um, saying, would you like to buy this from me? You're just saying, can I send you some to try? And most people will, you know, be happy to do that, would be happy to have whatever solution they can. So um, that's pretty much what I do. And then it's, it's listening in conversation. And if you actually listen and stop, let people talk about themselves, they will share those those issues and problems with you. So um, practical things that you might need to share the oils. So um, if you're going to share, one, share your experiences. So tell them the stories that you have found or your own experiences with the oils through your words uh, and through what you've experienced. And two, share your oils. If you have oils, like, I mean, a lot of us start on the top 10 at least. Um, so that's a really good place to start and a really good, I mean, you know, oils to have for other people, to share with other people too. So I find the probably most cost effective way to share samples is to make up little roller bottles. Now I've got, um, only because they're pre-diluted and you only have to use a couple of drops of your actual oils. So I often use these little three mil ones. Now, I buy these from a lady up in Brisbane here. Um, her website is everyday-miracle.com and she has some great little three mil ones. These one actually have um, stainless steel rollers, so they're good ones. Um, I find them really great for sharing samples, but you could also use like little, um, take them out, little one or two, what are they called? One or two mil drams. So I've actually pre-diluted these ones as well. So you can use these. Um, so I put I like a drop of each and then some coconut oil. It's much more, it's very cost effective that way. Uh, if I sometimes, if someone has a diffuser, I will um, put 10 drops of an oil in one of these or in a smaller one, but that's not as cost effective for you if you don't have a lot of oils, especially if you started on your five mil size. So um, the roller the roller balls are easy for mums to have in their handbag too, um, and you know easy to put on the kids at bedtime for sleep. So you can you know you can use them on the body for sleep as well as in a diffuser. So that's uh, probably the most cost most cost effective and the easiest way for mums to actually use them as well or other people to use them. So I find that um, a really good way. So um, some other websites that have roller bottles and things are um, au.aromatools.com is a good one. Um, and, well, that's the two that I mostly get from for the small sizes. For the larger, larger roller bottles, like 5 mils or 10 mils that I use, like, for myself. So this one's 10 mil size. That's not – that's Clary Calm. But, you know, that size I get mine from – um, packmyproduct.com.au or I get them from um, Everyday Miracle as well. She's got some really good ones at the moment. Um, Lisa, do you have any others that you want to pitch in anywhere else? You'll have to unmute. Uh, so Emma from My Essential Extras. Um, she's up at Mango Hill and she's got a whole range of um, stuff. My um, Essential Extras. Yeah, I think that's what she's called. Oh, um, awesome. I haven't come across her before. Yeah, she's a, a wellness advocate. I can't remember whose team she's in, but, yeah, so she's um, lovely and very accessible. Um, she'll send out if you want or you can pick up from her place at Mango Hill. Yeah. Um, she's, and yeah, she's sort of been slowly but surely expanding her range, so she's now got sort of 15 to 20 different products. So. Oh, excellent. That's a good one to know yeah. too. Thanks for that. I've just kind of stick with the, you know, the same ones that I've used and people that have told me about those. So that's a good one. Yeah, well. yeah. Um, yeah, and I can, we can write, I'll write those in the event um, as well if, um, I actually didn't put it, bring a pen with me. Yes, I do. Every, my, every, what did you say it was? My. I think my essential extras. Okay, awesome. I'll just write that down. Yeah. And put that in the Thanks. events. And yeah, she's there. working on a website, so that'll make it a little bit easier. She's pretty much it's doing all through it. Facebook at the moment, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. Um, 
I guess another thing that you might want, if you think you're actually going to, or you want to share um, with friends and family, maybe regularly, or even if you are interested in um, maybe teaching a class one day or just having the paperwork that we use at the class, um, I would recommend the Empower Kit, which is from our back office. So this gives you um, the class, this is the class info. Now you don't have to do, you could have a coffee with someone and just give this to them so they've got info to take home and touch base on a couple of things and just pass, you know, give them a few oils to smell. That, that way they've got this info to take home and read in more depth later. You don't have to do a full class if you're you know, just doing a coffee date with someone. But it gives you 30 of those. You get um, 30 of the new, the, this is the new one, the new um, price sheet. And the enrolment kits are on the back. So it gives you 30 of those. And then you also get 30 um, of the, the enrolment form so that if people want to get their wholesale account started, they just fill that one in. You also get 10 wild orange, which is pretty awesome. So um, that can be a really good little data to give somebody. I actually usually give mine to all my new members. I give them one of these and a few roller bottles to get them started. Um, and sometimes a little book if I've got them in stock. Um, but that can be a good little thing to yeah, have, have on hand. And if you didn't have um, a sample, you could always, you know, give a friend one of those as well. Um, but there's, you know, 10 in there. They're $30 uh, and no PV, but they, um, that's really awesome because you're getting like, that's, that's, you know, $3 for one of those oils and then your paperwork for free pretty much. Um, they do come with invitations as well, but a lot of us don't usually use the invitations because they actually say that you're going to give each person a um, wild orange. And if you had 30 people come to your class, you've only got 10 of them, that wouldn't really work. Um, so we, yeah, I, most, well, a lot of people I know, we save the wild oranges for new members when they join up, just that extra little starter pack. Um, so that's a good thing to have on hand. Um, you've got your price list there then to talk, you know, to tell your friends the prices and to have a, have a bit of a nut over those and, and all that. So they're really good to have. Um, now, I, if you have friends that are interstate that are asking for samples, um, you can send them a little post pack, so a little care pack. Uh, most... Most of the time, I wouldn't send more than about three samples just because it will overwhelm people if you send too much. Um, and if they don't know what to, if there's too many things, they don't know what to do, they'll often just sit on the bench and they won't use them. So up to about three uh, oils samples is a good, is a good way to get started. Nat, could you just mute your mic for me? Oh, I thought it was already mic. <laughs> That's all right. Awesome. Okay. So I often put in a little care package. I will put, um, I've got this great little letter that I can, I'll put the file down below. So it's a really great little letter and I got this from Mish Pope and I've just changed it a little bit. Um, so it's kind of got, thanks for your interest in doTERRA oils. Um, I've just said I've put a price list there. This is how you get your wholesale account if you'd like to, the option of a $35 enrolment fee and choosing your own oils or one of the kits. Um, it tells them that, you know, they'll find instruction sheets or that, that you've, you know, sent them some information about each oil. It's got a bit of a disclaimer, which is always a good thing to do because we're not doctors and we're not saying that we're prescribing things for people's um, medical concerns. And then it's got a little dilution rate on the back chart on the back too. So even though I'm usually sending roller, bo roller bottles, that's just a good thing for people to have as well so they know how to safely dilute their oils. Um, and it's got my info at the bottom. So I can send that. I'll attach that to the webinar to the event um, and I'll just put it in Word so that you can change it with yours if you like. Um, so I pop one of those ones in, pop a price list. I've just been printing the older one out. Actually, this has my, my ink, my ink's gone. <laughs> so it's all pink. But um, I was putting the old one in. Just The new one is a double pager. So um, it's a little bit thicker to post. Um, I pop, you know, the little oil samples in a business card um, and often I'll try to give them information through 
the Facebook chat or um, that's for posting them so that, you know, I might just pop the, there's some really great images of our oils on the doTERRA.com website. Um, I think it's under um, advocates and presentations or something like that. And it's got a really high quality image of the oil with a couple of uses on it. Uh, so that's really helpful to, I often just, you know, we'll, we'll send that in PM to each person. This is what I'm going to send you. This is a couple of ways to use it. And, you know, just, just do that. Or sometimes if I have lots of time, I'll actually type out a page, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> so, um, and then I actually find if I keep with the three mil or the one mil samples and just a couple of sheets of paper, um, I get these little post packs. They're a padded post pack from Kmart. There's four in a pack for two dollars. So I find that that's got enough padding for the oils in it too. I don't usually re. I don't you know pack them any further. But I can usually post the one mil, two mil, or three mil roller bottles and a couple of pieces of paper for two dollars. So um, it's really. I think that's where you really want to try and keep your cost down because if it's going as a parcel, you're going to cost you seven dollars. So um, especially if you've offered, you know, to send a free sample, you want to keep your cost down too. So if you can get it into a two dollar, um, does any? Do you guys send them differently, Kayleen or Lisa? About the same as two dollars. What about you, Kayleen? Yeah, I um, yeah, I just whack a two dollar on it. Yeah, so you do it like that too, or a box, or yeah. No, okay. I've just got a padded um, jiffy bag. Excellent. And I just whack a two dollar on it. Awesome. Yeah. So that's the that's the cheapest way to do it if you can um, for for posting them. Now, the, I guess the the really important thing is uh, when you've posted your little samples is to follow up your friends and family and see how they're going with the oils. Because firstly, um, they some of them actually forget to use them when they've got them. Well, first you want to check they receive them, especially if you're posting them. Then you want to check, hey, how are you going with the oil I got? I, I sent, have you found that helpful for such and such sleep? Sometimes I'll go, oh, I've forgotten to use it. So that's jogging their memory for one. Um, and then, you know, they, then they will, you know, tell you if they've liked it. And especially for things like sleep, we've got so many great oils. If lavender didn't work for them, you can then say, look, can I give you something else to try if you want to? Um, so you want to gauge whether it's working for them. And um, if not, you could offer maybe a different oil. Um, so check in with them in a few days. And I guess... Uh, the important thing is also that you're not just leaving them in the lurch, but you're then telling your friends how they can also get the oils at the prices you get. So this is the, I guess, the, the important part of, you know, getting them on board, uh, but this is the delicate part too where, you know, you don't want to come across as silly or anything like that, but you just want to sh show your friends how to get the prices you do. So it's just really asking them, Oh, did, did you want me to show you how you can get you can set up your wholesale account and and get the great the same great prices that I get um, and that's as you know that's as simple as has to be it doesn't have to be pushy I mean I try not to be pushy because I don't like to come across as silly so people will come to you in their time and um, but giving them making sure that they understand how they can do it um, is yeah I guess important because we don't want to just say here's the oils and you don't know how to use them um, so yeah, the other the other great way if you're in Brisbane um, or you know if you ask me, I can possibly try and tap you and your friend into a class too. So um, if they want to know some more info and you're not really sure, then um, you can invite you you can bring them along or you can invite them along to a class that um, anyone in my team is doing locally, or um, I can try and tap you into one if I know someone somewhere else if you if they're interested in learning in more of a class context some people aren't um you know don't want to go to a class because they might feel then it's pushy but some people you know want to actually learn a little bit more um in a you know bigger context so you can always try and tap them into a class um, i've actually said uh, i will be i've got a couple of intros this month just so that um because i'm you know obviously sharing this promo i want to have a couple of classes that people can bring people to Okay, we've got 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so um, what else? I think that 
I think that covers most things um, that I wanted to share. Do you, anyone else have any tips on, on sharing and, um, you know, getting the oils into friends' hands and um, just being authentic about it that I've missed? Lisa, I was just, Anna. yeah, I was just going to say um, one of the things that I've only just remembered to do, which I don't know why it didn't occur to me before, but when you do have a class and you're handing out price lists and class outlines and stuff, make sure you've like stapled your business card to it because if they wander away and they got like, you know, I've done that too. <laughs> that has your name or details or anything and I was just thinking oh my goodness yeah, I've done <laughs> that a lot basic. actually yeah but yeah so I've just started doing that <laughs> make sure you have some way they can contact you and in, yeah. that, in that and in that in that um aspect if you are like doing classes make sure or giving samples um if it's someone that you don't know well and you just happen to be chatting to a mum at soccer or something and you've got something in your handbag make sure you get their details <laughs> so you can so you can follow them up. So just ask for their phone number or their email or something and just ask, you know, can I check in with you in a week and see what you thought of that? Because if that one doesn't work, I can give you something else you could try or something. Just make sure you get their details. Yeah, um, exactly. But, you know, be, be authentic. It's really just about sharing your experiences and um, helping other people to get access to the wholesale prices. Um, I guess one thing I will say is it doesn't really serve you to um, put everyone else's orders on your account um, because one you you know you won't be able to make any commissions on that um, which helps you pay for your oils which is an added bonus of sharing but two it actually disempowers them to um, you know do that research for themselves and also earn potential points for themselves to get free oils for themselves so it is best to um, really just, you know, sharing with them how they can access it themselves, not just putting everyone that's, everyone's on your account because we're all really about um, empowering each family for their own health. So when you help some another family get their account, that means they can order when they want to, when they need to, on a Saturday night, on a whatever. They don't have to call you up and say, when are you putting order in now? Like if they need something now, they can go in and they can order it now. So um, that's part of empowering other families is really that education on, um, you know, on, yeah, I guess getting their account set up so that they can get what they want and get the most out of their account for their family. Uh, so there's a great app too that is really, really helpful for sharing um, the Modern Essentials app. Most of you would have possibly have that on your phones. It uh, is really great. I find it fabulous for sharing screenshots. Uh, so if a friend asks me what their issue might be, then you can have a look in the app. Um, you can look up, say, sleep. It will tell you um, some ideas. You can screenshot and then you can, um, you know, just share it in a Facebook message. So that's a really good way to do it. So I've got some books as well and sometimes I photograph those. But the apps are really accessible um, one for everyone to have so you don't have to you know spend a lot of money on a book you can just um, get this it's about eleven dollars it's empowering for you so you can find your answers to your things and it's empowering to share with friends as well so um, hopefully we've covered most of that we've got um, six minutes left so if anyone has any questions do you want to ask them and I'll see if we can answer them before we get cut off <laughs> No. <laughs> can I ask a question? Yes, you can, Julie Kate. <laughs> um, with the sleep thing, I have quite a few people who want it for sleep. And first, a lot of people say they don't like lavender, but they usually do turn around when they smell ours. Mm -hmm. The other thing, so things like vetiver and that sort of stuff, which is obviously really strong. And a lot of people say mix the citrus in it, with, but citrus is, quite, is what quite wakeful. So I'm just wondering, like, if you send vetiver or even if they don't particularly like lavender, what, what's something that is soothing that you can mix with it? Well, actually, wild orange is, um, a lot of people, is actually uplifting and really calming. A lot of children uh -huh. love wild orange in their sleep blends. So 
wild orange is a really great one. Bergamot is a really good calming citrus as well. So it has that lovely lemon, but it's not so uplifting. I probably wouldn't put lemon in a sleep one, but wild orange and bergamot. Um, uh, Kayleen would have said clary sage. She loves clary sage for sleep. Um, what else do you love for sleep, Lisa? Uh, petty green. Oh, that's the, the lavender alternative, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah. Really you know. some, sometimes the lavender can sort of catch in your throat a little bit. And I've actually mm. dramatically reduced the amount we're putting in our bedroom diffuser, but the pedigree is awesome. Yeah, I, know that. I haven't used it much yet. I'll have to get it out, mm. but it is like, and yeah. it's got very, the chemical components are very, very similar to lavender cake. So um, oh. it's they liken it to lavender if you don't like the lavender smell. Anyone else? Yeah. Right. Any other questions? No? I hope I covered everything. I kind of just winged it tonight, so I've probably forgotten something I wanted to say, but that's all good. Um, I'll add anything. Oh, you, I, one thing I do need to say, we've got three minutes. If you are sharing with your friends and you do want to earn commissions for yourself, you do need to have a 100 PV LRP template. So that's just so that that's the agreement with doTERRA. If we're going to earn commissions, we need to, you know, have that um, investment in the company as well. So if you are sharing with friends and you are getting, uh, you know, wanting to earn the commissions um, and the fast start is 20% commission um, on anyone's order for the first, their first 60 days. So that's what you get for sharing. And if you want that, then make sure you've got 100 PV in your template. So you need, if you're ordering, you need to have it in the, te in the template at all times. So that's the one that hasn't processed yet because um, that's what the pay commission thing actually looks at. It looks at your template. So you need to have that in the template. It will then go back at the end of the month when it's paying for the month and see that you had 100 in that month. So um, it's confusing a little bit, but you can ask me about that on a more personal one-to-one -one conversation if you want. But that is a proviso of actually earning commissions. Um, so, yeah, I think we have covered most things. Is everyone good? I've only yeah. got three people I'm actually looking at. The rest are black screens. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that gives some ideas on how to share and we can, you know, have some more conversations about it in the group and I'll pop um, some documents. I actually have got uh, the empower things in document form too. So I can actually put them in the event if people don't want to buy the kit with the 10 wild oranges, buy the wild oranges because they're awesome. But um, mm -hmm. if you don't want to, then I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the files up too so that you can actually just print them out and use it that way. So thanks so much for coming along guys. And if you have any further questions, just ask them uh, in our group or in the event chat for this webinar. So I will see you later. Bye. Thanks Nat. See Thank you. you. Bye. Thanks guys.